This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV, and we're very pleased to be joined today by Dave Hughes of Engines Inc. to discuss not only this long-tenured U.S. maritime power sequel, but specifically to discuss the new John Deere JD-14 and JD-18 engines, a new pair of power units for the commercial maritime space. So Dave, I'm sure that many watching this already know the Engines Inc. name, but can you start us off with a little uh, company background in history? Yeah, Engines Inc. Um, really, is a fourth generation company. Um, it was founded in 1979 uh, with a family relationship, but the, or I should say the family relationship with John Deere goes back to 1935 as an implement dealer. Um, right now we're at about 105 employees with three facilities in, in Jonesboro. The main production facility is about 117,000 square feet. Uh, the engineering and service facility is about 54,000 square feet. In our warehouse, our, our engine inventory occupies about 120,000 square feet. So, you know, the highlights, again, fourth generation, family owned, um, mainly John Deere distri engine distribution in 1979, but dates all the way back to 1935. Um, can you give a by the numbers look at the company today as a whole? And really, I'm just getting that stats that are uh, so that helps our audience and the scope and size of the operation and then specifically kind of dig down into the maritime space. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Engines Inc. actually represents four main product lines. Uh, we have obviously John Deere, uh, both industrial and marine. We also represent Yanmar Industrial. We have Relco Marine Generators. And then we have Ford Spark Ignited Industrial Engines as well. Um, by the numbers with the with the growth and the recent uh, territory expansion that, that we were granted by John Deere, uh, we are tickling about $100 million in, in average sales or, or overall sales. Uh, for 2025, or at least that's what we're on pace for. From a marine perspective, uh, a lot of the, the traditional engines in business has been on the inland river uh, barge market and generator primarily. Um, you know, with that, we're in the neighborhood of, of four to 450 units annually. Uh, and again, a lot of that is, is primarily John Deere Marine Auxiliary, you know, but as you had mentioned with the 14 and 18 coming out, uh, we really see an expansion into the propulsion side of the business as well things uh that i know one machines break and two when machines break the vessel owner wants them up and working as fast as possible as the marine this is literally the definition of time is money so can you dive into the service aspect of your business of the engines inc business specifically how has how is the company investing in resources to help keep your customers business up and running Absolutely. So, you know, there's a, there's probably, I would say, a three-pronged approach uh, to the service aspect because you're you're spot on, right? In the marine business, service is key. You know, and, and the first and foremost, uh, I guess, topic or, or approach that we take to it is we partner with some fantastic service dealers. You know, Engines Inc. Uh, administers, uh, right now we have close to 20 marine service dealers all over South Central uh, the United States with that expanding into, you know, our Mexico and Central America territory. But these guys are really the people that are getting the calls, you know, uh, two o'clock in the morning when, when the machines go down. In order to be able to help make sure that those dealers are successful, you know, we have dedicated uh, trainers on site uh, and offer classes to all of our dealers, you know, to cover not only the existing product, but recertify the technicians that they might have. And then to your point, you know, we do have the subject matter employees on hand. You know, we've got, we're pushing close to, uh, I believe it's between eight and 10 dedicated service technicians out of the Jonesboro facility that we can dispatch at a moment's notice. And the great thing about these guys is they all understand the importance of service and they're, you know, they're willing to get up at two o'clock in the morning and hit the road if need be in order to be able to, to get to where that boat is at and help these guys get back up and running. You know, and, and the other thing that I would say that that we do really well is, is I mentioned we have an on-site trainer and, you know, he's, he's probably second to none when it comes to, you know, trainers within the distribution, the John Deere distribution network. Um, and, and he's really the subject matter, right? So we partner with our, our dealers to make sure that they're up and running, but we've got a dedicated staff that, that we dispatch as the, the subject matter experts. As you know better than I, fuel efficiency in the name of money and environment are top of mind today for the marine sector. Um, I guess, what are you seeing in terms of the types of propulsion or hybrids and how does engineering, in Engines Inc. play in that space? Like you mentioned, I also see kind of a transition in the market. Um, you know, at this stage of the game, I feel it's really early and everybody's trying to identify the best path forward. Um, you know, we've seen some 
some hybrid packages uh, enter into the market recently with PTIs and PTOs, you know, auxiliary electric motors on, on gearboxes. We've seen some inline solutions uh, hit the market or, or, or try to, to penetrate the market. And we've seen some diesel electric. And, you know, the, the stuff that we're really kind of seeing is, is more of the diesel electric. You know, lots of generators driving uh, electric motors and the generators can be added or subtracted, you know, depending on the load. Um, with the, the propulsion and the hybrid side of things, we're actually seeing, you know, new product coming out, kind of like we had mentioned for us, you know, right? But there's a couple other engine manufacturers that are coming out with new products that are more fuel efficient, you know, and, and if the industry can see a, a 10, 15 or a 20% increase in fuel economy, that drastically impacts their bottom line. You know, especially when it comes to propulsion, large propulsion engines and generators. I mean, the generators are running 24-7 to keep the lights on. Interesting. So let's get to the, the headline of this, and that is the uh, JD-14 and the JD-18. You know, I know you're excited to talk about their engines that are new to the maritime sector, and if I'm not mistaken, available in up to 800 horsepower. Can you tell us a bit about the engines, their history with the on what you see as makes them excited for the maritime sector. Absolutely. Um, you know, as, as a power solutions provider, um, you know, we leverage the, the research that the factory has done in order to be able to maintain uptime for the construction and ag industry. Uh, we really only get the engines uh, as a byproduct of the development for specifically for the construction and ag. And services is, is really key and uptime is really key for them. Um, and to your point, yeah, it's, it's it's fantastic because this is putting us into an area that John Deere hasn't traditionally played in and up to that 800 horsepower propulsion line. You know, the, the engines have been completely redesigned. You know, we're going to an overhead cam, uh, a rear uh, gear train uh, arrangement, which, you know, all of these things are going to help improve the fuel efficiency on the engines. <clears throat> and we're opening up and increasing the horsepower. You know, on the propulsion side, the JD-18 is going to be virtually constant duty at 800 horsepower, which keeps us below the threshold for uh, final tier four requirements, which means no after treatment or, or urea for the, the vessel operators to be concerned with. You know, some of the, the other key features and benefits is, uh, you know, our John Deere, our JD-14 line, a lot of it uh, for the variable speed, the generator applications are all going to be single circuit. You know, it's going to be based or similar to the 13.5 AFM engine which means when you're looking at radiator cooled installations um, or even keel cooled installations for that matter, you don't, you're not having to worry about two separate circuits. So it's, it's really kind of exciting for us. Um, are the yeah. engines available for sale and install now? Uh, first and foremost, the JD 14 and JD 18 is available now on the industrial side. So industrial applications, and we've had great success in the, in the pumping world with the JD 18s. Um, and on the Marine side, we are just starting to ship the early validation engines uh, to customers, and we have roughly, I believe it's it's close to 12 different installations that are going to be occurring throughout the United States, not just Engines Inc., but the entire John Deere distribution network. Uh, and then the order books for these engines are, are due to be released Q4 of this year with first production deliverable engines available uh, the first quarter of next year. Um, you know, the nice thing about being able to talk about this now, again, you've been in the business for a long time. You understand the, the timeline associated with a lot of the repowers or a lot of the new construction builds. So now is the perfect time for us to start talking to customers, getting the information in front of them so that we can be spec'd in and we can be ready to go when the engines are available for delivery in the spring.